So, she she took that as a white savior. Yeah, yeah. So that I mean, that's what I'm saying is like, since you're out there, not necessarily on the front lines, but let's say the half front lines. Mm -hmm. You're you're a step you're a step back. Yeah. Like, have you seen that? Because I know there's there's this fine line of, well, it's not our place. We can't speak. You can't do this. You think that. I haven't been corrected? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, <laughs> By a... No, I know. But my thing is kind of like, do you think that has something to do with it? Because you seem to be strong-minded. Like, yo, I have enough. I deal with so much other stuff that somebody saying something to me. That ain't shit. It's not going to phase me, but everybody no. ain't built that way. Right. So do you think it, I mean, do you think that plays into it? Or do you think it was just like, hey, it was kind of cool. We went out there. We got our, I got our, we got our likes and this and that. Because I like, I've, want, I've been wondering that. I think more so that, for sure. I think that it was like trendy and like the thing to do for a while. And nobody had anything to do. Nobody was working. Quarantine had just hit. People were bored. People were like, yeah, I'll get out of the house and go march and cause some ruckus. But I'll preface this by saying I'm a very cutthroat individual. I don't give second chances. I see things in very black and white. I don't do half stepping. There's no fence riding for me. Um, if you are a person who took offense to being spoken harshly to by a member of the black community, you don't belong in this movement. You have a problem being spoken to by a, a strong black man or woman. You need to understand and think about why you felt bothered and offended by that. If you felt threatened by that, you need to ask yourself why. Why was it because they were black or is it because you felt embarrassed or because they were right? What's what's the that's that's not you can't you can't go by this whole like mad black woman thing. That's yeah. that's just feeding into the stereotype. If you got spoken down to, okay, check yourself. Why did it happen? Were they right? And if they weren't, did you go to them and say, I hear what you're saying, but this made me feel some kind of way? Did you respect them enough to have an adult conversation? All of this is fear-based. All of that is fear-based. Because then what happens is, oh, well, now you're afraid to show up. Now you're afraid to say anything. Why? Because now you're afraid? Did you verbalize that to the person who reprimanded you? No, why? Why are you so afraid to talk to black people? That, that's really, I don't understand. It's so- Is it ingrained in you from birth or something? Like I don't know. And I've, I've, I think it's hard for me because I grew up in such a diverse place. I don't understand that. Yeah. Um, but I forget that some people grew up in, you know, really racist rural parts of the country. Um, I'm not as tolerant of that as I should be. I will admit that. Um, I'm very impatient about that. Um, but I also think there's people that can and want to be educated and people that are never going to be on our side. And I'm not, I'm not going to handhold. I'm not going to listen to white splaining. I'm just not, I'm not going to do that. Um, so when people are like, or I get COVID a lot, I'm afraid of COVID. Fool, I might have lupus. And I've been out there for five months. I throw up on the way to actions and then march for hours. I don't want to hear shit about COVID. That makes me so angry. And also, every action I've been to, that's where I feel the safest. Everybody has a mask. Everybody has hand sanitizer. People are so careful at protests. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, at the end of the day, there's no excuse. I don't care. I don't care. Get a sitter for the kids. People bring their kids in a wagon. I know somebody who brings her infant baby and marches with her. I don't want to hear it. There's, there's no excuse. If you are white and you have not been in the street at least five to ten times in the last five months, you need to ask yourself what side of history you want to be on. Pick a side. You are with or without. That's it. With us or against us. There's, there's no... You cannot support Trump and not support all of his ideals. You can't vote for him and support the black community. Uh-uh. can't be on the fence with Trump. No. That's for sure. No. That's not a thing. And I won't have that in my life. I don't, I don't mince words about that. Zero tolerance for Trump supporters. Oh, my God.